Well, you may have heard of the term dry drowning, where children swallow water and it builds up over time and eventually can cause some breathing problems. But apparently, that's not necessarily the case. Yeah, joining us this morning from West Boca Medical Center is Dr. Tara Harris. So you and a lot of other doctors say that dry drowning is not something that parents need to worry about. Correct. Dry Where a child falls into the water and then days later has an issue. Correct. So dry drowning isn't a term that's recognized in the medical field. Um, it is, if a child is going to be symptomatic, they will be symptomatic within four to six hours after having a drowning event. Um, and should they be symptomatic, they should definitely be taken to the ER and, uh, and observed in the hospital. However, if it is days later, then they should be taken to the, their physician to look into other causes, asthma, pneumonia, other respiratory illnesses. So what you're saying is even say a child has an accident in the pool and uh, they seem like they were okay after choking on a lot of water. Mm -hmm. If they start getting worse four or five hours, you should go to the emergency room. For sure. If you notice anything that's abnormal, they're just not acting right. They're breathing seems like it's off, you should absolutely take them to either to their physician, to the emergency room for further observation. So if a child has a, an event in the pool and then you hear of a child dying uh, and they, people, parents have said, oh, that's a dry drowning. If, it's not, if that's not the case, what is going on? So there could be several things. Uh, if they were well several hours after the event, eight, 10 hours after the event, then it's something else. It could be asthma, it could be another respiratory illness um, that should definitely be looked into, but I, there's a big fear of um, children's lungs filling up with water hours and days after um, a drowning event, and that's just not the no, case. Not the case. All right, Dr. Tara Harris uh, from the West Boca Medical Center, thank you so much for coming thank in. You. So